Hey YouTube, this is Deshaun from Deshaun Custom Wigs. I'm back to do, um, to wash Miss Gloria's wig. And I've already prepared her and gotten her ready. Uh, I'm going to give you some tips. Um, also, when you're washing your wig, you do not want to wash it in hot water. Hot water makes it, the hair revert back inside to the cat, inside the cap. So, in, and if you're an avid wig wearer, you know what I'm talking about. When you take your wig off, you got hair sitting underneath inside your your cap so you do not want to wash it in hot water because hot water some kind of way forces the hair back through the, the lace so it's best to wash it in cool water or warm water lukewarm water but not hot water hot water forces the hair revert back to the net like I said so I use wash the wig in um, like lukewarm water or cold water. Cold water is not going to hurt. If you must wash it, it will have a little heat. Warm water, lukewarm water is fine. But this is tap water, so it's not going to be ice cold and it's not going to hurt the wig. So the first thing you want to do is wet your wig. You always want to wet your wig in the hair the direction the hair is flowing to avoid um, any tangles. Same thing when you wash it. And when you rinse it, you want to rinse it in the direction the hair is flowing to avoid tangles. So I'm going to turn it down a little bit so you guys can hear me from the water. I'm going to add a little shampoo. Not that much. It's not bad. And I'm sorry about the lighting, but if you see how I got this rigged up, you was like, I don't see how you did it. But anyway, you take the, the, the shampoo and you wash it this way, going downward. And working the shampoo all the way down until the, to the ends. Because it's going to soak up. So you don't really have to do all that vigor scrubbing as if you, you were washing your own natural hair. You just want to start it from the crown and work your way all the way down to the end. Because see, it's, it's sudden, see? You do this a couple of times and then you go back to rinse it. Now, like I said, when you rinse it, you want to rinse the where the hair is flowing this way. So you want to want the water running downward so you're going to rinse this way not like this or all over the place you're going to try to keep it, the hair going in one direction to avoid tangles and you want to make sure you rinse this really really well and if you can't hold it like this you can always put it on a styrofoam head um, and pin it down to, to rinse your wig or wash your wig out but you want to make sure you get all the product that you put in the wig out. And you can tell because it has a slick feeling. It's the same with shampoo and the conditioner. If you have conditioner in there, you, you start to, if you rub your hands across the hair, you'll feel the difference. See how the hair said what the hair is looking like. And I hope that this camera's picking it up and it's not too dark. And you just squeeze out if you want to squeeze out some more, you can. I'm gonna do is lay it down and I'm gonna add some um, conditioner. And that should be enough. Not too much. You know, working in my hands and I just work it down the wig. I'm not trying to get down to the roots of the wig or down to the base of the cap. I'm just working it down because you don't want to put too much uh, conditioner down into the roots because it'll some kind of way loosen your knots. And what you want to really concentrate on is the end. Now if you want to sit, you can let it sit. But this hair doesn't really, because this hair is very soft, it's already nice. And I'm not going to let it sit, so I'm going to put it on and work it in. And then just rinse it out. 
And like I said, with the with the conditioner, you make sure you you rinse all the conditioner out, and you'll know because you'll start to feel this film on it, and it's not going to feel right. So you know you still have product in there. And you just keep rinsing if it takes however long it takes until you're satisfied with it. But make sure that all the product is out. That's how long it takes to rinse it out. And like I said, you rinse in the direction the hair is going, starting in the front of your hairline. And I'm not going to sit here and rinse the whole thing on camera, but I'll come back with the end results and I'll talk to you guys in a few minutes. Hey YouTube, this is Deshaun from Deshaun Custom Wigs. I'm back. Uh, I'm done washing Miss Gloria's wig. It's been washed and conditioned and it's wet right now. And that's some parting I want to show you guys because she's still wet. Um, and this is the end results. And I'm combing it with a large tooth comb. You never want to comb with a um, rat tail or a small tooth comb when it's wet and if it's wet. And you do need to comb a little bit. You start at the ends and work your way up. This hair has a slight, slight body wave. Not much. Like I said, she's still wet. So I'm going to let her completely dry before I style her. And I have to wait until she gets here to... Uh, see what she wants if she wants to cut a little bit of, or if she just wants to leave it like it is but on that note I'm going to talk to you guys later and you guys have a blessed blessed day talk to you guys later bye